I have a person in my life that everyone adores. She smiles and organizes parties. She is one of the first to offer advice and is always on hand to help. We all have people like this. Except the one I have in my life is hiding something. I can see it even if no one else can. There are the tiniest cracks to the ever-smiling veneer. I see those cracks easily. They are obvious to me, but no one else can see them. All of her words are dipped with the smallest amount of poison. Over time, that poison works its way into you. It ever so slowly corrupts your emotional immune system. I lay awake at night and I wonder if I've gotten everything wrong. Maybe I don't actually see the cracks in the bright, happy veneer. In my clearest moments, I know that it is just another example of her sublime power. Like a millennia of water droplets against a cliff surface, she slowly eats away at your self-esteem, your pride, and your ability to reason. While this seems innocuous, the reality is that the damage wrought is extreme. I have decided to act. I have decided to act decisively and aggressively. I ring to explain that I need some help with some problems that my kids are having. She casually replies that she's not surprised, but she would love to help and she would be right around. I wait. I get my husband's hunting knife and I wait. I pace and I sit and I pace some more. After an eon of waiting, the doors swing open and she breezes authoritatively into my house to right the wrongs and tut-tut her way through my problems. She turns her back and I slide quietly up behind her. In the middle of her opening monologue of why I waited so long, I raise the knife and bring the gleaming blade down with all of my force. The razor-sharp blade pierces her neck and buries itself deep into her upper chest. She turns quickly and with a powerful sweep of her arm, she sends me flying backwards to painfully hit the wall. I look up and for the first time I see the reality of her. Her features are contorted in pure rage. Her mouth stretches into an impossibly wide smile, and the blood bubbling up from her chest cavity stains her teeth. She advances and I see. I see it all. I can't kill her. She is, in fact, a monster. Not a pretend evil person who does bad things, but an inhuman being from another place. As she lifts me up the wall, I hear a bone begin to break on her iron grip and I smile. I'm going to die on my terms, not in this slow, painful way she has planned for so many years. My sister feeds on misery. She won't get it from me anymore. She might just have to set her sights on you next.